Good morning from Coruscant. As always, I appreciate your service on the front lines. But right now, I have another crisis brewing, and I've learned to trust your instincts. We're not friends, Chancellor, and the next election is a ways off. Why don't you tell me what you need? I've supported you more than you know, but have it your way. The Dreadmasters, six rogue Sith Lords, have been terrorizing the galaxy since escaping Belsavis prison. They've arranged catastrophes across the galaxy while amassing an army of followers. We believe their end goal is to establish their own empire and to destroy the Republic and any Sith who resist. We killed Dreadmaster Styrak under Vanus. Otherwise, we've seen nothing but setbacks. Twelve hours ago, we located the Master's headquarters on Oricon. Six hours ago, we sent a task force to bombard it from orbit. That operation appears to have failed. If you told me this twelve hours ago, I might have been able to help. The ground portion of the campaign was intended to be minimal. It was primarily a space-based attack. Was. We received this from one of the Jedi in command at Oricon. This is Ogunde. As soon as we entered orbit, the madness struck. The Dreadmasters projected images into our minds. Personal images. Shocking images. None of us were prepared, and our ships began to go down. Still aim to smash their faces, sir. Three more ships non-responsive. Steady, Sergeant. How Jedi intend to enter a trance We'll shield our forces as they regroup on the surface. That was five hours ago. We've heard nothing since. I need you at Oricon today. I need the situation assessed, any survivors rescued, and if possible, the Dreadmasters eliminated. I'll do what I can, but there may be dozens of people stranded on the surface. Keeping them alive will be hard enough without mounting an assault. Keep in mind, with that fleet disabled, the Dreadmasters will see an opportunity They'll expand and fortify their territory. If you must abandon the mission, I trust your judgment. But dozens of worlds will fall. Coordinates sent to your ship. Good hunting. Picking up heavy orbital defenses. We can skim the surface, but this ship will make an easy target if we land. Put me down with a landing beacon, then get to a safe distance. When it's time to go, I'll activate the beacon and wait for pickup. Don't move. Identify yourself. The Supreme Chancellor sent me. I'm on a rescue mission. You see, selfish, when in reality an enemy comes. Your eyes lie. Fire. Kill. Shut up! DX, I need confirmation. Identity is confirmed. They are authorized agents of the Republic military. It's a blasted start. Sergeant Trila, I'm the highest ranking person on Oricon who's not dead, insane, or in a trance. That wasn't just you. I heard those voices. The Dreadmasters? They talk a lot. They make us see things. Master Ogunde and the others are trying to shield us. I was on Belsavis when they escaped. The visions, the voices... They were never this bad before. Warlord, module update. We will be overrun by Dread Guard within 89 minutes. Damn it. I'd love to talk strategy, but we've got our hands full and no manpower. You all they sent? There's no one else coming. Are there other survivors? We think so, but they're lost in the kill zone. You find them, maybe, maybe we can regroup, plan a counterattack. All right, I want you to keep this place and these people safe. I'm going to look for your comrades. Transmitting crash locations. Watch your back out there. I don't know how much is real, but those things we're fighting are bad. Did everyone get back to camp? Yeah, and they brought stragglers. Some of them are in rough shape. Not just casualties, but really out of it. Private Krieger can't stop shaking. Gialto thinks he shot his husband. This Dreadmaster stuff, man. Physical or not, a wound is a wound. 
Get them off the battlefield. A few at a time. Use my ship if you have to. Appreciate it, sir. Warlord module update. We will now be overrun by Dread Guard in two hours, one minute. Well, that's an improvement. So, we're dead if we stick around, dead if we try a full withdrawal. Best bet is, finish the mission. But the Dreadmasters are in a fortress under heavy guard. Sent a recon party, didn't make it within a click before we lost contact. So let's deal with the defenses. What do we know? Scans of this area are distorted, but we have located two high-power signatures. Exact source unknown. Likely hostile. Okay. If you can scout those out, neutralize the threats, maybe we can move on the fortress without getting killed. We'll prep for assault and stay on the comm. You need us. Well, we'll do what we can. You've done well, my friend. Their power to cast fear, not gone, but diminished. We aren't done diminishing them either. Looking good, people. You just bought us a ton of space to maneuver. Everything secure here? We're about ready to hit the fortress. Still need one thing, though. Yeah. Ah. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for the mess. Sorry about the speeder. I, I miss you. I'll kill you, I swear. Stay focused, Sergeant. What you're seeing isn't real. You'd come back to us. Help us stop these people. I don't want to. Sergeant Trela. It's okay. I'm okay. We need to hit the outer watchtower. We spotted it in the crash. It's a link to the fortress. Best guess, that's where we can get the gate codes. Only way we can get inside without ordnance. The Dreadmasters use a combination of ancient Sith, Rakata, and Gree technologies. A watchtower computer core should hold the fortress gate codes, but accessing it may prove difficult. I've dealt with ancient tech before. Just be ready when I get back. We can't afford to wait much longer. It's not the wait that's driving us crazy. Go. Once, we were mortals, and we dreamed of mortal things. Now we are beyond man, woman, or Sith. Once, we were six. A Darvanis the Republic slew our brother, and we became five. Once we were conquerors, but now we have seen our true path. For this, we thank you. You can't win against the Republic and the Empire. All you're doing is prolonging suffering. It doesn't have to be like this. We enact the cycle. Before our brother tasted oblivion, we had prepared to spread terror across the galaxy. We would build an endless dominion under our leadership. Constant, overgrown with our devices. Homes and families slick with blood. Beings overcome with fear and hatred. That day will still come. But it will not end there. We felt our brother's doom under that. We felt peace. When we have enslaved the galaxy, slaughter will follow. Birth, pain, fear, death, the cycle of existence. Oblivion will overtake all that is. At the end, we too will taste death's solace. You're doing all this so you can die and take the rest of the galaxy with you? Yes. Coruscant and every other world will taste the depth of fear. Even now, our servants ready ships to leave Oricon and spread terror. You will try to stop them. Too late. And you will despair. When you realize that you are nothing, the darkness shall welcome you. Sergeant Trilla, if you can hear this, I've got the computer core, but we may have a problem. I'll explain shortly.
Slicer module query. Have you obtained the computer core? I've got it. It should let us into the Dreadmaster's fortress. Unless they've changed the gate codes. Unlikely at this point. Though our window of opportunity is narrow. We have suffered additional damage since your departure. One Jedi Master and three soldiers have been rendered comatose. Sergeant Trela threatened to fire upon our troops while hallucinating, but appears to have regained clarity. Yeah. I know it's hard to shake them off, but you can't let the Masters win. Do you need me to stay here? No. Your mission's more important. Picking up launch signals near the fortress. The Dreadmasters are prepping to send tech and bioweapons to population centers. They're launching ships to slaughter the galaxy. Go. Stop them. Meantime, we'll get those fortress gates open. I can approximate a location. I would expect the Dreadmasters to send key lieutenants to oversee the launch. Given their tendency to modify their servants, I advise extreme caution. We launch scuttled. Pompous Dreadguard never had a chance, did they? Our forces were able to secure a path to the Dreadmaster's fortress. The gate codes are functioning. Then it's time? Almost. Before you go in, I need authorization for something. I've messed up. A couple times. And if I go crazy when you need support... I've strapped on a shock collar. Next time I look unstable, I want the droid here to put me down and take full command. Listen, Sergeant. Our enemy's power comes from fear. If you don't show you're confident, how can anyone here hold it together? I'm not. This isn't easy. But I'm not letting this mission fail because of me. Then you need resolve. You need to know why you're fighting. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, we're holding a speeder route open. That's taking most of our manpower, so once you're inside the fortress, it's up to you. Not to put on the pressure, but if we don't take out the Dreadmasters today, we lose this sector. And we're all dead. Death will claim you, regardless. It is time you understood true fear. Time-faced oblivion, come. I saved these people. I stopped your launch. I'm not the one who should be afraid. Show them how the Republic treats tyrants, sir. Jedi module expression. May the Force be with you. <laughs>